Hello everyone and welcome back to our tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to connect Pinterest to your Shopify store. In just a few easy steps, you can drive more traffic and sales to your online store through the power of Pinterest. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first of all, what I will need you to do guys is simply go ahead and launch your browser. Right after that, go ahead and click into the URL section over here in whatever browser you are using and search for Shopify. Here we go. And let me just remove this PNG. And here it is. So this is the website that we are going to use. Now let me just go and add English. So we have the English website and the version of it. And here it is over here. So all I'm going to do is click on it. Now, this is the website. And for us to actually have a store, all we need to do is click on one of these start free trail button. So there is one over here and the other is in the top right corner of the page. So let's try and click on it. Here, they will give us like a question and answers. So we have to answer some question of theirs. First of all, they will ask us, which of these best describes you? For me, I'm just starting. Then click on next. Where would you like to sell? For example, there is an online store, an existing website or blog, social media, online marketplaces, in person, here you can click if you're not sure yet where you want to sell. For me, I'm going to choose and pick an online store. Let's go to here and click on next. Now, what do you plan to sell first? Products I buy or make myself, digital products, dropshipping products, services, print on demand products, or I will decide later. So let's click on I will decide later for now because I'm not sure yet. And now let's give our store a name. So here, let's name it, for example, tutorial video. Let's wait until they check everything and they give us the authority to use it. And then click on next. Now let's choose the region, next again. And finally here, we have to create the Shopify ID. The Shopify ID is used like to log into our account. So you can log in using an email and password, Apple ID, Facebook, or even Gmail account. For me, I'm going to use Gmail account because it is easier for me. So let's click in here. Then let me pick my Gmail account. And here I am. Now they are building our store and it can take between 10 to 40 seconds maximum. It is not that long. And don't worry guys, the dashboard is pretty easy to use. It is so simple and I will take you through it step by step. So don't worry about anything. Here, as you can see, you have your free trade that will be ended at 9th of April. So make sure to get your premium version of, Sh of Shopify uh, before 9th April because your shop will be extended and closed. The, f the, the premium version will cost you only $1. So it is not expensive at all. Now let's start with installing the application. Now from here guys, what I will totally need you to do, simply need you to do is go to this section from your store to apps and then it will open for you like that. Here what you have to do is simply go ahead and click on recommended apps or app and says the other settings so you can go here and then go and click on Shopify app store right from here then they will take you to another page where you can search for applications here search for Pinterest here it is and here you go guys now what you'll have to do simply is choose which kind of Pinterest plugin you'd like to use for example, there is this pixel track monitor Pinterest, there is Pinterest feed, pen track, Pinterest pixel tag, and much more from Pinterest as you can see here, and much more. So, as you can see, for example, here it is a Pinterest application. 
so if I clicked here you, as you can see the app is not compatible with my store so if I click here as you can see Pinterest is only compatible with stores that have business address set in any of these countries Canada, United States, Brazil, United Kingdom and much more as you can see make sure that your store is on one of these countries how to do that? well when you first create your store from here as I showed you before you really have to actually create it and the region that you will create it on so let's skip all of these and here let's put a name video like video tutorial and simply here let me click on next and here instead of like choosing uh, Morocco as a country I will choose United States then I will click on next it looks like you are located in Morocco are you sure yep next and then click on continue with Gmail as I showed you before so we are doing the same method now just to show you how to fix that problem if you faced it in your uh, process so now it's creating the store the user that I am have created and simply that's it so this is how we fix that problem that we faced before so we do the same steps we go to apps we download Pinterest now without any problems so here we go add apps Shopify store and let's search for Pinterest here it is Pinterest and now as you can see it is good to go there is no problem with it and we can install it perfectly so let's click on add application and now they will take us to the uh, the interface where we can actually add sales channel and add the Pinterest plug so let's add it and now they will take us to the page of the app so here it is it has been added let's pin it so let's pin it to our navig navigation and now what you'll have to do is connect it to your Pinterest account or otherwise you can just create a Pinterest account so you have to choose one of these for us let's create one I will show you both so sign up which is pretty easy process so as you can see I have already an account let me just sign out of it let's look out and let's click here once more so here we go so the signing up is pretty easy just use your email password and then age and your account shall be created so it doesn't take a lot of time for you to actually create an account on Pinterest now after you create it you can just log in into an existing account so let me just log in to my uh, account using for example Gmail account again which is sim it simplifies the method and it makes it much faster to us like to create an account etc so here we go now let's try this out connect to Pinterest account continue here I give the access and now it shall be accessed and everything is working well so now this is the dashboard here you can finish it up in the Pinterest sales channel by clicking on continue setup first of all before make sure that the account that you they are here are only your accounts and the account that you give the accessibility and the permission to have the access to your Shopify account so here this is my account and there is no other account this is actually perfectly good for me now if you'd like to add any business account you can just click here and you can add it as well so now let's keep it simple and click on continue setup so here we go and now you have to create a business account so let's click on create a business account and now let me just translate this to English if that possible so create a linked business account and here we are so now we have to actually create a business account let's name it so let me just translate the page again here profile name company brand name so let's name it tutorial here do you have website nope region country so let's choose United States once more um, let's search for a so where is it um, all right this is it and the language should have been English so let's go to the following so once more United States and let's go and click on name no index here you must just keep answering some question what your brand focusing on so let's choose for example um, uh, other um, technology for example uh, sell more product not sure next I'm not sure next I'm not sure yet next and now we have created our account so here we go and now you can start publishing and creating stuff 
So this is my business account that I have connected it to my account. So create business account. So as you can see, let me just fix that real quick. As you can see, let me just drag something and publish it. For example, this cat image. Uh, here we go. And let's publish it. So create board, something like that, and create. And now click on publish. So for now, this is our business account that we have created. So we can promote pin or see pin. This is all up to you. So for you to have like the, uh, the things that you have with Pinterest or with Pinterest business account is that you can actually promote the pen that you have created. And what's gonna help you with, simply it's gonna help you with uh, making your product that you are selling on Shopify more popular. So basically it's just like ads, it's working just like ads. So here you put the product image, here the destination URL which is your Shopify account, this is simply it. Here the daily budget which is how much are you going to spend on this ad per day and the duration of day so it is what it is so you can you can see what it's saying so the durations and here the targeting so reach more pinners or narrow down your audience so you can just here choose the specific audience that you like for example you are selling um, clothes of girls so here you must specifically choose a gender which is females here these clothes are for girls who are from the age of 18 to the age of 40 for example 30 so you have to choose it choose it from here so choose this and this now here the interest so pick a specific interest here um, this is choose beauty so design and like that and here they will tell you what is the potential monthly audience size that you can get per month so after that after you choose everything correctly you will have to only here set up a billing address which is your bank account, PayPal, etc. And then you can start promoting. And this directly will help you promote your Shopify products. And of course, this will get you much more orders than usual. So yeah, guys, this is simply it. That's how you can add Pinterest app to your Shopify store. I hope you liked this video. If you had any problems, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. And thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.